Welcome back to our community. Susie Thomas visiting with Edie Bowman, local playwright, and who is directing A Christmas Spectacular. She is the founder of Into the Light Productions, and you can see this amazing show takes you back with music and dance and fun skits. Saturday, December 21st, Lions Lincoln Theater in Maslin. Edie, when did you get the idea that this is what you wanted to do? You know, ever since I was a little girl, I was very observant. I watched everybody intently. I don't know why. I just was interested in what they were thinking. Why did they do that particular facial expression? Um, why did they say it that way? <laughs> you know, you know, why does she look so happy all the time? Mm-hmm. Why, is he mm-hmm. look, why does he look sad? I just always asked questions like that and wondered about people. So as I got older, um, I really love movies, like movies really, especially the old good movies like A Wonderful, It's a Wonderful Life. Uh, Amen. Andy Griffith's show. Yes. Things like that that were (laughs) wholesome and had a good message in them. And I was just drawn to those things. And I love to hear stories and um, be a part of someone's story and just Mm -hmm. listen to people. I love people. So that. I said, what's a way that I could, um, you know, be involved in that more into I was always artsy. I was around a comical family and a singing family, Um, just very dramatic on both sides of my family. So (laughs) Mm -hmm. it was full of laughter and um, and ups and downs, the good, bad and the ugly. And I was I was thinking, how can I put this, you know, on a stage where people can see it and how can I make this into hopefully one day a career that's, you know, that that's all that I'll do. I hope that comes true one day. So I just, I went back to college for it at a, uh, at age 36 at Malone university Mm -hmm. and studied it and said, I want to do it more to the public, to the community. And so took off from there. And here you are. Uh, Yes. What is it, in your opinion, about story that people relate to so much that brings us together? You're able to communicate uh, through a story in ways that maybe can't do it another way. Well, for me, um, stories, you know, when you sit down and talk to someone, you enter into their world when they're telling you their life story. And you know it's true. It really happened. And when, and perhaps you're going through something that they went through. And then you see they came through it on the other side. You know, and that's mm-hmm. encouraging to me because let's say I'm going through um, – depression or something like that. And here I'm talking to someone who said, you know, I went through that and this is where I am now. And this is what I did. It's encouraging because you're going, Oh, they went through it and they're, they're okay. Or they're doing better. This is a true story. I can go through it, you know, or Mm -hmm. you see someone is happy and joyful all the time. And you ask them, how did they get to that point? You can say, they'll talk to you about it and you can go, well, there's hope for me then. Mm -hmm. Cause this is a true story. You know, they're telling you their story and, it just connects so quickly because we're all alike mm-hmm. when you really get down to it. We yep. all have those same emotions and feelings, and a lot of our stories are really alike. Mm-hmm. And I think that's really encouraging. It is to a way know. to connect, isn't it? Yes. It's really a way to connect. You've chosen a beautiful venue to be able to put all your programs on so far, yes. Lions Lincoln Theater. Mm-hmm. How did you make that relationship with them? Actually, um, Right after I graduated in 2013, the Lord blessed me with a lady who came like seemingly out of the blue. And she just took an interest in me and asked me what I was going to do after I graduated. And, you know, and I told her what I wanted to do. Long story short, she wrote me a $3,000 check, went to Florida <laughs> for the winter and said, use this to get your venue. Wow. Use this. So I was able to get. I was like, well, why not do a theater where mm-hmm. I can get more people? So I checked around and I ended up at this theater and um, the lady there, her name was Linda Blankenship. She was just an awesome woman. And she showed me around the theater and I felt this warm, cozy feeling there. And it, like you said, it's a beautiful venue. Mm-hmm. And I just felt at home there. And so... Um, We connected, and I just felt like this is the place. It's one of the historical theaters in the area. Yes. Um, For people who've not been in, describe it a bit. It has, um, 
like a warm, you know, like velvety seats. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the like stage the old is, kind, yeah. is big, but it's not yeah. huge where you feel kind of disconnected. Mm-hmm. It has over 600 seats, but when you get in there, um, it doesn't look so huge where, you know, you feel disconnect from everyone else in the crowd. And the thing about theater is you want a feeling of unity, even amongst the audience. It's like you're one whole group experiencing something in that live moment. That's and right. And you want that feeling. And yes. that's what you want when you're a, a writer, director, or actor. Mm-hmm. And you feel that there. So I really like that. It is. It, it's got a great stage. How yes. do you take an empty stage and then suddenly put on a Christmas spectacular? <laughs> Tell me the... You know, how do you decorate it and light it and do all the cool things that when we walk in, we have this amazing experience where it's just magical? Well, the benefit of having it around Christmas time is they've already decorated it beautifully. Cool. (laughs) So that's part of my job. I don't have to do as much. And (laughs) these artists are so good at their craft. That, Mm -hmm. you know, they're already perfecting everything they're going to do. So I don't have to worry about, you know, saying, you are you going to sing well? You know, are you going to dance well? They're perfecting their craft. So I just have to organize it and know where to put it and where to put this. And my husband, God bless his heart, he, he does all the props for me. He's so busy, but he finds time to do all my props for the skits. And... And he's like single handedly that's got to be swaps them in and out because he likes to work alone usually. So So you've got an entire stage crew and a set designer (laughs) under your roof as well. Yes. And my My girls are in college now. Yes. But they used to be in the shows and help every week. We were like a family just working together trying Mm -hmm. to make it happen. So where is all this stuff right now? Do you have a place in your garage or basement or something where all these props are? All three. <laughs> okay. Like, go into the garage and the, the kitchen, attic and the yeah. basement. <laughs> yes. Um, oh, my goodness. At our church, because our church is yes. in Maslin. Like, Great. Just put places everywhere until, you know, I'm able to get to that point where I can have a place for all of that. But Very, very cool. Oh, yeah. Did you know that he could do this before you went in, the, or before you married him and knew th- went this direction? Or was this a really happy surprise that you both have this gift? Well, when we were dating, he talked a lot about wood shop, but, you, know, you know, when he was in high school mm-hmm. and how he likes to work with wood. And he showed me a few things he made. I was like, oh, he's good. And then when we got married, he built all our beds. Wow. He made our living room table. Wow. Um, his mother and grandmother are awesome seamstress and decorators so it's in his blood um and he loves it for relaxation wow he'll go out and build something so when I did my first play I mean I didn't have anybody any staff and he was like I can build a set for the courtroom you know he built an awesome set for the courtroom and since then he's just my main man Um, amazing (laughs) what is he making right now what's he working on for this show for this one um, it's going to be a lot of smaller props, so he, he doesn't have to work as hard, mm-hmm. you know, since it's more of the um, singing and dancing yes. and piano and stuff like that. So he hasn't actually started yet, and I know that sounds scary. Oh, wow. But he's the type of person. <laughs> Tony's got a month. Oh, my god, It's gosh. a month from today. Yeah, we're total opposites. <laughs> I would have started months ago, but he's yes. a last-minute person, but he gets it done. So Okay. <laughs> All right. Have you given him a, it's a really funny honeydew list, isn't it? I need a reindeer. Yes. (laughs) Yes. What's on his list? Oh, um, it's funny you said reindeer because one of the skits has a reindeer. Okay, I figured that would be on there. (laughs) And it took care of that part for that. But yeah, kind of smaller things this time. Not too many big things you have to make. All right. You're taking it easy on him this time. Good. Good. That's, you've got to take good care of your staff. (laughs) Yes. We are speaking with Edie Bowman. She is uh, the founder of Into the Light Productions and will be directing the Christmas Spectacular. And that is coming up one month from tonight, Saturday, December 21st, at the Lion Lincoln's Theater, Lion's Lincoln Theater in Maslin, uh, located on Lincoln Way there. And um, tickets, general, well, let's start with the early bird for all you early birds. You can get them for $10. Uh, at the door for 15 and you do it at itlchristmasspectacular.eventbrite.com. Yes. And I'll say that again, ITL, as in Into the Light, itlchristmasspectacular.eventbrite.com. You can get your tickets there. Um, so far, 
challenges? What do you like best, doing a play or doing this kind of thing so far? What are, what's different? What's What are the challenges involved with this? Well, with a play, it takes a lot more. We meet weekly, put, you know, dip more hours in because it's a whole, like, two-hour performance. So far, doing this, since everyone's pretty much doing their own craft. They're practicing on their own? <laughs> yes, it doesn't okay. feel as stressful. Well, good. You know, for me, which is a good thing. But the other thing is, what I go through every year is, I think people wait to three weeks before or two weeks before to get their tickets. And I'm like oh. going crazy and pulling my hair <laughs> because I'm going, um, no one's getting any tickets, you know. And then usually towards the end, a nice amount of people get tickets. But oh, it then you're me sold crazy out here. and people are upset because they can't get in. This yes. is only one night, one night. So you cannot miss it. So why not get your tickets right now? Yes. Go to itlchristmasspectacular.eventbrite.com. Um, that's all they need to do, right? Yes, yes. And I've even, um, on my phone, just typed in eventbrite.com. Yes. And then on the search, you put in into like productions, Christmas Spectacular. For people who are not real savvy with the computer and their phone like me. <laughs> simple, Just go to Eventbrite. Simple, yeah, you can go to Eventbrite. You can get the Eventbrite app. Click yes, on it and, and, on and it kind of start to look for search. events in my area, yes. and it will eventually take you <laughs> to the will. right one. It will. So um, what's what's your favorite part of this so far? So far, I would have to say, and I'm giggling, is the rehearsals. Nice. And um, my staff weren't able to come. Not my staff. Listen to me. My mm-hmm. oh, <laughs> actors, yeah. they weren't able to come this time. But we have so much fun because they're – hilarious the skits are funny we even have moments where we're sitting there almost crying because we can feel the moment where they're acting and doing the skits fun and they're doing such an awesome job I'm so grateful do your actors ever come up with some things they throw in is there any improvisation happening that you say oh that's good keep that all the time and it's usually it's usually fine Every once in a while, I'll have to go, mm, Take no. that out. Don't yeah. do, th- don't do that. Most of the time, it's fine. <laughs> They're awesome. Well, that is a sign of an awesome director, you know, well, to give you. their actors a little bit of leeway and some freedom to really get into their roles and start yeah. to add some things. And there can be some real serendipitous kind of moments yes. where something great comes out of that. I love that. Want to give this one more time. ITL, Christmas Spectacular Event Bright. Eventbrite.com, and uh, or just go to Eventbrite and go f- go to Into the Light Productions. It'll take you right to the Christmas Spectacular again, taking place Saturday, December twenty first, seven to nine at the Lions Lincoln Theater in Maslin. Edie Bowman, thanks so much for all you do in our community. Thank you so much.